Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Eyes. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, I decided to do a little bit of grinding for a new monster besides just Jackal and Spadonkus. And I'm looking at the chart now and realizing I had made my uh, little lizard guy there. That is, by the way, Cole Lizardon. Uh, Cole, I believe, being a word pretty much for small or suffix for small in Japanese so it's like small lizard despite the fact that he's like stage three so I essentially went elekin which thank god I got rid of that to char lizardon to which we had faced before to cold lizardon and uh as you can see he's kind of a powerhouse like sure he's got the big towel and the big towel big blow and the twisted towel on him but you know he's still quite the Quite the little powerhouse, even without his awesome stats. And, um, yeah, I had learned kind of the hard way that actually when you make a certain monster from a certain jewel, that, uh, that pretty much dictates what their evolution path is going to be. So, whereas I had planned on making this guy into what is called a Lizardon, which is pretty much as you expect, it's kind of big old lizard guy uh this path for elekin only turns into charlizdon colizdon and since i went this path it's now either way i go is to an elekina which i presume is going to be a powered up version of an elekin and um one path goes to the screams which we had found before and the other to something called Big Head. This um, this whole evolution system is more messed up than Digimons. Just gonna say. That said, since we're stuck with uh, Cool Lizardon as he is, I'm gonna go ahead and level him up as a Big Head. Whether or not this is a good idea, I shall only find out when we do it especially if uh, Big Head ends up being some sort of you know super awesome like magic caster that'd be fine now what's unfortunate though is that uh, I didn't realize this with Spadunkus so whereas I thought that he was going to become a King Kareen instead of this uh, kind of got myself boned in that his options are kind of limited. Yep. Yep. There, there's the, there's the Elekina. There's the Elekina. That's, I'm displeased with this. He, he could be an all-powerful, all-knowing monster and be like super mega strong. And, um, I'll, I'll still be unhappy. All right. Anyways. So we had made Spadonkis from what is known as a cross into a Kareen, which means that he only has one evolution option. <laughs> Just, and this is, uh, this is the kicker for me here. Uh, the previous jewels that I had thrown at him made it so as he learned stuff, but you can't, can't deviate from the path, man. Just can't. So he's going to learn a couple of cool spells. Heh, <laughs> cool spells. He, yeah. Pink. And now... Be stat, why not? Luck up. And finally, yellow. Well. Kind of ironic, in a way, that uh, the dragon slaying character from the D&D campaign ends up being a dragon. This is just simply called Lizardon. He is, it's a lizard. But now he's got a butt ton of spells like Iron Hammer, Grace, which does a medium amount of damage. Just all the spells. So many spells. I am kind of annoyed when it comes to this game. Uh, in the fact that when you level up uh, spells, if you have a lesser version of that spell, that, will, that spell will immediately be erased. That is annoying. Like, I 
And sometimes I want to be able to not die, thank you very much. <sighs> that said, Elekin's a thing. I was doing a lot of grinding and uh, he's... It's a thing. I don't approve of the thing, but it's a thing. Give him an attack power again. As a as a Colizdon, he had an amazing attack power, by the way. Like, just outstanding. I wanted that attack power to continue on, but... Nevertheless, nevertheless... I don't know. Maybe I'll... I'll just kind of accept it. At this I've kind of accepted it at this point. It just sucks that his HP sucks. I gotta say that the big head better be worth it. It really better be worth it. Because <clears throat> right now he's got less... Uh, he has less capability than as a Colizadon. So... I might be a little bit miffed if he ends up just being impossible to work with. And I know he's only level 15 and we're going into a new brain spanking new area, but eh. Maybe I should re rename. Oh jeez, they just sped up the lost music. Lost forest music. I dislike it. I can see the fairy Nast through the mist. I'll come to you, my sister. That wasn't said in a creepy fashion. So of course, monsters here are also powered up. Uwata. What? Anyways. So those guys I remember having a high evasion rate. These guys are a little muscul. Little muscul. Uh That's about it so far. I kinda hate the misty effect. Also, I just wanna say. Lizardon looks freaking sinister. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we do murdering this guy. Pretty well. Pretty good. Pretty good. Colizadon is or Lizardon is going to be the guiding force through this. And uh, how's 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 Elekina? How's this gonna do? How's this working? Yeah, I dislike you. I dislike you greatly. But he is low enough level to the point where every time he hits something, he's more or less going to level up. No joke. Even when as we were level one. In the new brain spanking new area. Oh, uh, back in the house of dolls with him as level one. He was gaining levels pretty much every other monster as long as he could kill them. So you would weaken him with your main character, which was which for me was significantly uh, less powerful than all of my other monsters. Oh god, they're gonna Oh, they're healing him. How nice. Hate. <sighs> Gotta kill the healers first. But yeah. Hit him with a weak monster. Make sure that your brain spanking new monster gets the kill. Level up almost instantaneously every time. Almost every time. <sighs> that said. Um, if he hits him again, he's definitely gonna level up. So. We'll have him focus on these guys. And here's kind of a kicker. It's not a bad kicker. It's just kind of the mechanics of the game. Because, I mean, it's how the game's played. Uh, you can't target enemy units with your healing effects. So you can't, like, throw a rice sandwich at an enemy and be all like, You're healed! And just constantly farm a singular enemy for experience points. Trust me, I tried. Uh, I don't think you can do the... You also can't do that with healing spells, which by the way, I suppose I should show off some of the spells that we have have now. Like this lovely spell. Summon bigger rock. I love it. And hey, I level up. And that's it from my side. Don't go stealing my stuff. Okay. I think he's gonna go heal that guy. Yep. Oh no, healing himself. Alright, priorities. But, ooh, I wonder. 
I don't think I can get off another uh, big hammer spell. If I could, that'd be great. But, if he gain, you gain more than 100 experience points uh, if they are a significant level higher than you. Now I'm just wondering whether or not I would gain way more experience points or not. He did level up, so I can cast again. Iron Hammer! Do all the damage! Yes. Alright, I think that should be enough for... Yeah! Should be able to kill Mr. He Mr. McHealy bot. Level up. Yeah! The sooner I can turn him into a big head, the better. I got less experience points for that than I thought I was going to. I guess it kind of makes sense. He did level up last turn as well. Hmm. Crown of Thistle. Okay. So now we just got two little Musku. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. They're like two level, ten levels lower than my most powerful units that are on the field. And like only five levels higher than my least powerful unit. I don't know how fast of the, how fast that gap is gonna close though. Oh yeah, that's gonna close up real quick. Of course, the Healy guy was also like only level 20, so. Yeah. Yeah. See? 121 XPs. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that leveled him up twice. Actually, it did level him up twice. I approve. And... Oh, we got, we got this one little... One little guy left. One, two, three, four. I didn't realize that his... Speed was as high as it was. Green Holy Jewel. That's cool. We'll go ahead and get this other box out of the way just in case. Yeah, just kind of a weird progression when it comes to Spadunkus, isn't it? I mean, he was a Pollen first, I think? Then he became a Card Knight. Then he became uh, essentially a Crab. And then he became uh, this. Or, no, he then he became a genie, and then he became this. Also, gotta say, don't dig this version of the song. I much prefer the uh, more chill Lost Forest music. Also, it's a lot harder to grind in this kind of area. Alright, go for the attack. Yeah. Still not as strong as Lizardo, but hey can't complain when you have a slow progression of growth. I kind of wish that more of the monsters were more, made more clear what their specialty is. Like, again, I'm looking at this list of um, their different names and whatnot, and I can imagine the creatures. I can't say I can actually picture how effective they are as that creature though like Lizard Lizardon that sounds like a giant freaking dragon to me so I think high attack power and whatnot so cool okay big head what 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 is a big head what's a big head do does it do the spells because if it does the spells then I'm leading my puppet map little puppet guy down the wrong path that said, I'm kind of tempted to just equip him with a second big blow. Do I have another big blow? I don't have another big blow. I only got the one. I am kind of interested in what the crown of thistle is, though. It increases his MP by a lot. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I'm playing this monster wrong. If we remove the big blow... We can see that his magic attack is far better than his attack attack. So we would want to focus on his magic attack. 
but I have nothing to increase his magic attack, so the best we can do is increase his magic power. And probably his defense, so I might just give him his uh, tortoise shell back. Alright, so yeah, that's that's how we'll we'll try to play Elekin off as. We'll we'll start playing him more like a magic caster than we play him as a full-on uh, melee person. We need to think sorcerer, not cleric. To put it in a D&D tactics terms. Uh, I don't like the look of this in the slightest. Alright, what are these? Uh, they kind of look like little Japanese ghost things. Sweet talk. What? What is? What? I. That's a sweet talk. I don't know, but they got a low magic defense. I'm gonna poke him first, though. Hi, name's Luke. Here's my spear. Ah, oh, you don't seem to like that. Too bad. Alright, move up Lizardon. Because he does have, a, like, one good spell to cast. Oh, God. It is such a monstrously powerful spell. It really is. You just need to get a monster that actually has a half-decent magic attack. Yeah. Did barely, no, barely any experience from that. Yeah, he's got... God, you got such a shite amount of movement. Can you at least reach your target? No, we need a range of five. And none of your spells do that. Kind of ticked. Just a little ticked. But hopefully the uh, sweet talks don't... Yep, yeah, okay. I was about to say, hopefully the sweet talks don't go retreating. And that they'll just come at us. Uh, that said, I'm kind of intrigued. I don't know the the ran the enemy AI seems completely random at sometimes. Like these guys, I remember some previous incarnations of these back in the other place being all like, "Oh, we're going to steal your treasure," and then they steal the treasure that's on the field. Okay, yep, I found your calling. Your calling is murder with magic. Maybe I should make it so as he also gains... Is there a thing? I don't know. I might be screwing up... Items and stuff in my head. Um, I'm playing a mobile game, Final, F Final Fantasy Brave Exvius or whatever. And, um... It's pretty fun. I'm just at a point where I either gotta grind the ever-loving crap out of the gacha portion and hope for strong monsters, or strong characters, rather. But anyways, there's an object in there that I now possess that essentially allows me to regain my MP every single round, which would be fantastic right now. Uh, Cast 32, or an additional 2... Sorry, four power. Did I reach? No. I could dream. Next round. Next round. Ah, uh, we'll start picking up some treasure too, just in case. Who knows? Maybe I'll get broken sword. Sure. Uh, let's go down. Maybe I can have them focus on Badunkus there as a proper tank, like Spadunkus do, but they didn't both move within range. That's balls. I'll stab this one. Gotta get experience points for everyone, right? Not just... that's just one character that admittedly I still want to level up. Oh please, Gad, level up so that I can turn you into something else. Uh... Go spamming all of his attack power spells. So let's try this one. It's not. It's not going to be anywhere near as have powerful, but Jesus, 
certainly alarming. Bum, 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 bum. I think his magic attack increased by a whole one point. Eh. We'll see. We shall see. In the meantime, Lizard Lizardon, go eat that flying bunny. Chow down, buddy. Mm-mm. Flying bunny. Hey, he even gets a level up. These guys are actually at a point where we can get... <laughs> it's actually pretty funny um, trying to gain experience or trying to gain experience points for the bigger guys in the smaller dungeons because essentially what you're just trying to do is either play a tank or try to get in the way of your opponents so that they don't like all swarm in on the lone really weak monster so instead you just kind of have them poke and prod and gain like eight experience every single time they do Maybe three, if you're lucky. Ah, oh, how'd that not kill you? Come on. I'm gonna have you... What's your MP at? Oh, he's gonna just keep on healing himself, isn't he? What spell are you using? Who are you? Serves a small amount of HP. He is not using a very powerful spell, but at the same time, that's healing him for full every single time that he goes to heal with it. That's not a nuisance or anything. Yep, healing himself again. I'm wondering if I can't use this. <laughs> like, I... Attack with him him in the face with my spear. How much XP? Okay, 50 more. I'm gonna try to kill him this time. Do I have the spell power to do so? Yes, I still have like 80 th or 93 MP. Maybe it's a thing with the element. Nah, it couldn't be a thing with an element. Maybe? Let's try Ignis. Did I try Ignis before? I tried Ignis before. It was the exploding one. I'm an idiot, I know. Still, that amount of experience. It's nice. Really nice. Makes me wonder just how much we're going to end up getting when we finally... Oh, wait, I should have moved him. We could have pinned him right in place. He wouldn't be able to move. And then we just continuously bash him in. Alright. Bash you in the face. Nice. Don't ask me why it dramatically changes camera angles like that. Alright. So fire don't work. Giant ice don't work. Uh, what else do we got? We got... Was this super effective? Does the EF... I mean effectiveness, kind of like scaling in Dark Souls. No, no, it doesn't seem to. Well, now I'm just confused. Why the hell that? Oh wait, it was a little musku that I had done that to before, wasn't it? Maybe it was. I don't know. I'll. I'll like level up um, Elekin one more time through this method and then I'm just gonna have Lizardon eat its goddamn head off <laughs> uh, it's a cruel way to put it but it's so goddamn true All right. freeze raid kinda wish it would also tell uh, what damage is done or what spell is being cast, but meh. That's right. I was like, before, why is why does it seem like I have infinite magic? I keep on forgetting that I keep on leveling up every single time that I hit something. Or almost every single time I hit something. So let's bite its head off and call it a day. 
Really, I could probably just charge through the place with Lizadon, have him heal himself. I got a party hat. Sorry, a, some of the weirdities of these games still knock me off course. Yay! We abused a poor little bunny rabbit against a tree stump. Uh, I probably could have like leveled up a good amount of times off of that singular bunny. It's honestly kind of tempting, to be completely honest. Damn it. Probably should have. <laughs> uh, I, I should have. I honestly should have. Because if you can get them pinned like that, and if they're going to constantly heal themselves, then... Hey, why the hell not? Do the same thing in Final Fantasy Tactics, right? All right. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, I can't believe that... Uh, I accidentally made a monster that is actually good with magic. So here's hoping that it can at the least be continuously more and more effective as it levels up. So thank you all for watching. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.